The melody of Highway 101 was once Cedric's alarm clock each morning for an entire year. When the 50-year-old lost his job, the highway literally became his home. I was sleeping in a parking garage in Daly City, um, maybe 10 months. And previous to that, I was sleeping in a tent on the side of a freeway off-ramp in South San Francisco for almost a year. Cedric was discovered by a police sergeant in Daly City and then brought to the Safe Harbor Emergency Homeless Shelter in South San Francisco six months ago. His lack of access to affordable transportation was a serious barrier to finding work and helping him get off the streets. The San Mateo County Board of Supervisors' recent vote to continue a free Sam Trans ticket program at the shelter hopes to alleviate that cost for individuals like Cedric. The ticket program gives homeless clients at the shelter four free one-way adult bus tickets daily. Clients can use the tickets to look for work or housing, schedule medical appointments, or even attend school. For clients like Cedric, who asks that we just use his first name, these transit tickets are a lifeline. He used the tickets to travel to job interviews when he first arrived at Safe Harbor. And now, he uses them to get to and from his job, where his employers are unaware of his current living situation. The transit program is about $240,000 out of the county's pocket per year. That purchases 30,000 one-way adult tickets that are valued at $2 each. The tickets make a big difference, saving clients $8 a day and up to $224 a month. It adds up, and especially during the job search. Oh, it, you burn through the tickets like that, so sometimes you have to walk because, um, like, I, interview, I was searching all over the place for jobs, and uh, my four bus tickets that I got daily, by noontime, they're gone. The 2011 San Mateo County Homeless Census and Survey counted 2,149 homeless people in the county a number 17% higher than 2009. 22% of those surveyed in 2009 said a lack of affordable transportation keeps them from becoming employed. There are a lot of homeless um, singles on the streets, especially downtown, and I think, you know, us being here is just a great asset, but we definitely need um, more, more shelter. Caseworkers like Eric meet with each homeless client to determine the need for the bus tickets, and design a strategy to overcome homelessness. Many clients like Cedric find employment while using the tickets and staying at the shelter. I feel this program, the shelter is very fortunate that the bus tickets, that we have bus tickets to offer to our clients. And I, and I think, you know, without them, a lot of them would be struggling even harder financially to get, get around. Just imagine what they would have to do to get to where they need to go as far as their appointments are concerned um, without the bus tickets. It's, it's quite a struggle. I asked Cedric if any clients try to sell the tickets rather than use them to look for jobs. He said maybe, but rarely, if at all. Everybody, they use them because they know that's, I mean, pretty much everybody uses them because they know wherever they go, it's a long walk back here. A lot of people don't want to make that long walk back here because we're, 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 we're in no man's land back here. So a lot of people, they hold tight, to their, they hold those t bus tickets near and dear to their heart because they know it's their only means of transportation. Shelter director Tracy Smith says there's always a need for the tickets. Between 55 and 70 Safe Harbor clients use the tickets daily. Whether a client stays for one day or up to eight months, all services at the shelter are free. That means a bunk bed, hot shower, and one meal a day although Smith says there's always food around. Safe Harbor is the largest single adult shelter in the county, and while the county has several other shelter types, Safe Harbor is one of only two shelters accepting emergency single homeless adults. Yeah, I've noticed that there's a lot more programs and services for, um, for families than there are for the single adults. There's a lot more uh, volunteers for the children and the families than there are for the singles especially during the holidays. I'm Caroline Davis with the Peninsula Press, a project of the Stanford Graduate Program in Journalism.